Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. Last time we had come to Castle Rayrest in order to do a quest for Sentinel, for uh, Queen Acarithian Sentinel it was, I believe. Uh, and we are in a massive dungeon here uh, behind Castle Wayrest, or we were in a massive dungeon behind Castle Wayrest, looking for a painting uh, that we're meant to track down and we weren't able to actually find it. So this episode we need to go and explore some more. But when we left off, we actually had used up pretty much all of our inventory space. So I figured what we should go do is sell um, all the items that we've looted from the dungeon. So we're actually going to head out into... Wow, that, uh, that really took a long time to load there. Sorry if there was an extended period of silence. Uh, it took a whole lot to load, probably because there's all these trees, this big row of trees that it had to uh, create out here. But wow, it looks really, really good out right now. I mean, that looks amazing. It's incredible how much the graphics improve in this game with all the mods installed. So obviously, because it's the middle of the night, we're going to want to go rest. I'm going to go ahead and remove our uh, enchanted uh, items because we don't need them at the moment. We will want to remember to use our the item that we enchanted with Charisma when we sell all of our stuff to get a better price. But for now, we don't need any of our enchanted stuff on. Uh, we'll just go ahead and s head to a local uh, inn and rest for the night. Let's see. The Red Wolf looks like a good candidate. We've been there before. Or actually, perhaps we should go to one we haven't been before. Haven't been to before, which would be straight this way. Uh, and I also apologize for this one taking a little bit more time than usual to uh, to get released. Um, past couple days, I just wasn't able to get around to making one uh, because I had been busy with a variety of uh, just things related to work. So here we are in the inn. Let's get a room. Wait a minute. Uh, this was not the innkeeper. I don't know why I clicked on him. My name is Bedwer Wixley. My master has asked me to find a brave adventurer for a dangerous mission. I cannot tell you more other than to say that it is worth 1,231 gold pieces to whoever succeeds. Are you interested? That actually sounds very interesting. I'm not going to lie. I'm very tempted to hit yes, even though we're in the middle of another quest. Like, very tempted to. You know, let's do it. Why not? Go to the Copperham residence. There you will find my master. Well, actually, that seems like... It didn't say we had to do it immediately, right? So... We, we can just go do that after we finish this other quest, I think. Uh, I also like how there's just some random person who, who, the first person that walks up to him, he says, I'm looking for a brave adventurer. Is it maybe because of my appearance that he says that? Who knows? I mean, realistically, he'd say that to anyone, no matter how low level they were in the game. So it doesn't make a ton of sense. But anyways, we have our room. We need to rest. Wait, loiter. We got to rest for like three hours. Uh, now we should... Actually, I guess we'll just rest for like another hour to get our health all the way up here. Or close to all the way up. And now, uh, let's go and find a... Wait a minute. This is just not where you want to be. That's okay, though. We have a solution. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drop ourselves out of that. Although now we're levitating, which is annoying because when you levitate, you go so slowly and you can't run. So perhaps this was a mistake. It would have been faster to just go out the correct door. We can levitate up, though, and admire uh, the landscape here. What we need to do is go find an armorer. we got to track down the armor that would be best to sell our goods at in uh, in Wayrest. That's where we are right now, right? Wayrest? Yeah, Wayrest, right? Okay. So let's just grab some random people and uh, see if they can direct us somewhere. First class armorer. Vintage Aegis and uh, Godnix uh, shields. Okay, so we need someone to mark that on, those on our map. I wonder if we've already been to one of them. Let's see. Okay, we haven't been to any of them yet, so we need all, all three marked on our map. So let's just keep asking around. Looks like there's a lot of people in the central square. Okay, we got one marked on our map. The, the last one, we need two more marked. I wish there was a way to end a spell early. Maybe there is, but I'm not aware of how to do it. First class armor. It's west of here. Okay, I know they're west of here. I'll start heading west. But I, I want to know a little bit more about them, please. Can you please mark it on my map? Okay, we got one marked on our map. We got to get the, the last one, and then we're done. 
Okay, she doesn't know. You don't know either. How about you? Okay, she marked it on my map. Perfect. We now have all of them marked on our map. So there's two down here in the on the left-hand side and one over here on the right-hand side. So we'll actually check the one over here first since it's closer. Uh, we're heading right in the right direction. It's right next to Vienna, actually. Okay. And we should be careful not to be levitating too high, levitating too high in the air when we... When the spell starts to expire, lest we fall and die. Let's see. So, the shop is laid out in a practical and straightforward manner. So this is like an okay message, not not the best one. So we're, we're actually going to head out and check on the other two before we decide on going to this one. That one would be okay, it wouldn't be ideal, but that might be the best option, we'll see. And I actually can notice, like, I don't know if you all can tell, but there's like a, definitely a slight FPS drop uh, in regions or areas that have the trees of Daggerfall in abundance, like the, the modded 3D trees. Uh, it's the first thing that I've installed that has had a significant performance drop when I use it. Not enough to be, like, not worth it, but it makes me skeptical whether if they release more sets for the other regions. I don't know how, uh, how well my system would handle it. We'll have to wait and see if that does end up happening. Okay, here are the two other armor shops. Let's check them out. This one's the same level of quality as the other one. And how about this one? Okay, all of them are like just medium quality. So we'll just sell them here, I guess. Sell the, the items here. Uh, doesn't matter too much. I'm going to save the game. And let's sell our stuff. Okay. So we don't want any of this. And we'll go to the wagon. And let's see. Um, we have to be careful not to throw away everything. We have Daedric right and left pauldrons now, so we don't need a, a Mithril pauldron. Um, Mithril Daikatana, I don't think we even really need that anymore, because we have the Daedric Daikatana now. You keep it for enchanting. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and, and figure it out, actually, at the end. Let's just get rid of all the stuff we definitely don't need first, like uh, the leather. Let's see. I'm going to leave anything that looks like we might want to keep it. And then just start clicking through this stuff. Obviously, we don't need arrows, don't need any of this. Okay, so there's an adamantium dicotano. We might want that, so we'll keep that for now. Don't need a Daedric Mace. Mithril Rite Pauldron. Do we need? Probably don't need that, no. Just keep getting rid of stuff here. Adamantium Broadsword. I don't think we need that. Uh, we'll keep the Daedric Longsword, potentially. And here is our Daedric Left Pauldron, so we obviously want to keep that. There's another, or there's a Daedric Flail. We don't need that. Uh... Daedric claim where we might want that, so we'll keep that in the inventory for now. Another Daedric Longsword. We'll figure out whether we want to keep that. Elven, right pauldron, left pauldron, adamantium, left pauldron. Uh, could be poten something potentially to hold on to. Mithril Flail, and oh my gosh, we have a lot of Daedric equipment. Holy shit. We currently have $143,000 worth of uh, stuff in here, and it's only going to go up. Because look at all these Daedric things. So I don't think we need... Let's check the damage output on these. So broadswords 7 to 18. The longswords 8 to 22. So I don't think we need broadswords. So we'll get rid of our broadswords. Uh, Daedric Claymore. How, how much is that? 8 to 24. So we have two Daedric Claymores and two Daedric Longswords. Oh, three Daedric Longswords. I don't think we really need, realistically, our three Daedric Longswords, to be quite frank because we already have two daedric claim wars now three that we can enchant and in fact we probably don't even need the mithril dagatana or the ebony claim war based on that um one thing we could consider doing is keeping those in the wagon till we get back to daggerfall and we can sell them for like a better price because we could get a huge amount of money for this stuff so i'll actually keep that stuff in the wagon like the really valuable stuff i'll keep for a little while longer and then ebony versus adamantium uh ebony is better so we can get rid of the adamantium uh, we'll get rid of the Dwarven stuff. We'll obviously get rid of these two things. Uh, and we'll keep... Just because all this stuff is very, very valuable, I'll just ditch it into the wagon and we'll sell it. Well, obviously we're going to keep our Adamantium Curse for enchanting. Uh, and we're going to keep... 
uh, things like uh, our adamantium boots for enchanting potentially, but everything else will sell. We'll actually sell, I guess, these two mithril things as well. But we'll keep the Daedric and sell it once we're in Daggerfall and we can get like a really good price. Uh, so I think that's everything right there. So 85,000 gold. We got it in a letter of credit, which is perfect. We'll increase our weight allowance. Um, and we're going to go ahead and save the game right here. And then real quickly, we're going to go ahead and just sort out. Uh, if we go into our weapons and armor, I guess it's all in our... Uh, all in our wagon, but we do want to pull out the stuff we'll need for dungeon crawling, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to pull out this, just something to bash things down with. I guess we'll get that really pretty quick, actually. We'll get a weapon we can bash things down with pretty quick when we're exploring, but we obviously want our left pauldron. Oh, do I have no inventory space? Let's see here. Can I sell this, like, enchanted dagger? That I don't even know what it does, but I certainly won't need it. Let's see. I don't need this enchanted dagger, so I'm just going to sell that. Um... Then obviously I need to go sell all my ingredients. Not that I have that many, but I probably have a lot in the wagon. And what's taking up all the inventory space here? It's probably our gold that we've gotten uh, more than anything. So let's go ahead and sell our ingredients and then we'll go to the bank and make sure all our gold is in a letter of credit form. So we need to find an alchemy shop now. Okay, she doesn't know anything. Okay, gotta go south and north, I think she said, or he said. Uh, alchemist, keep going south. Okay, I'll keep heading in the south direction first. Okay, we got one pointed to on our map. It's straight, straight there. It's pretty, pretty close by. We'll go check that one. Since there's only two locations, we won't be able to be too picky about whether it's a shop that will give us good prices or not. Uh, let's see, this is the correct one here. Oh, that's uh, definitely a message that we want to see. So this is a pretty low quality shop, so they'll give us good prices. Uh, let's see. So we don't want any ingredients, so let's just ditch all of this. And we have some in our inventory. Perfect. Oh, shit. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put on our charisma, our personality, and... Uh, luck boost before we did all those sales which i really should have done because i imagine that would have gotten us better prices um you know what we can load back to before we sold everything and actually do yeah my bad there guys i completely forgot about doing that right so we want to put on our and again i don't know how much of a difference this makes but i think it does make some sort of difference our luck thing and then i think we have a curse we enchanted with boosted personality this one okay we we need to actually put on Hold on. We gotta get enough inventory space to throw on. Our Curus. We can just remove the one that we have on right now. We can remove this stuff into our wagon. Our wagon can't hold anything either. Well, I just want to transfer something from my wagon onto my person, if that's possible, please. I guess I have to sell a little bit first before I can even get my Curus on. So let's sell... I don't know, sell just enough to get room for my Curus here. That should be enough. Okay, and now, go to my wagon, find the enchanted Curus with Charisma on it. I still can't equip it. Can I please just put it on? No, I can't. How, how much does this weigh? 6.25 kilograms. Uh, let's see what the problem is. Is it because I... Oh, wait. I don't have this on. Okay, now I should be able to equip it. There we go. Finally. Okay. Now we have the store items on, finally. So let's actually go through everything now and sell it. Again, we don't need this. I think we determined we won't need the Mithril Dai Katana. And we want to keep this stuff. We don't need any Daedric Long Swords anymore. Uh... But we'll keep that for selling once we get back to Daggerfall. And now we just start going through everything. And I wonder if this will get a, get us a bigger price. I'll actually... We can check back in the video and look. You, you guys will be able to tell. But uh, I'll check back and see if this gives us a higher price than before. To let us know whether or not it was actually worth it to do this. I didn't mean to sell that. 
Uh, I'll try and hold on to most of the Daedric to sell at another later date, but we want to generally free up our inventory space so we can like fully loot that dungeon again. Um, this, this, this. Just trying to go through carefully and make sure I don't sell anything that we want to keep. I'll sell that Daedric Flail here. Why not? Don't need any of this. There's all the Daedric coming in. The Mithril. Obviously, we want to keep our Daedric. Wait, do we have two Daedric Daikatanas? Did we pick up two? Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Right. Well, we have two Daedric Daikatanas. So we definitely want to sell some of our Daedric uh, swords and such. So let's see. Um, Adamantium Daikatana. So now that we have two Daedric Daikatanas, honestly, we'll be able to sell most of most all of this Daedric stuff here. We'll, we'll wait till we get back to Daggerfall to sell it at the shop. It will give us better prices, but... Um, yeah, for now we can just sell all of this. 116,000 gold. I think that is more, significantly more than last time, actually. So I think it was worth doing that. Um, now, don't I have a magic item? Yeah, this dagger. I don't want this. Um, and then, obviously, I have some stuff in my inventory here that I want to sell. Steel, I don't want any steel. Uh, I don't need this stuff. Okay. And, alright. Nice. So now, let's just go ahead into our inventory here and sort out through what we need for the dungeon and what we're going to sell at a later date. So, we need our our Daedric Pauldron, which we have here. Our Ebony Curse, we'll need that for the dungeon later. Uh, and then our boots are still in our inventory. So I think everything we want to just keep an enchant or sell later is in the inventory at this point. So let's just go sell all our ingredients at that alchemy shop now. Just going to head straight south. This is it right here, if I recall correctly. And let's sell everything from our wagon. We should get, again, a, a better price than we did last time. I don't remember if that was a better price, but it should have been. Now we want to actually go to a bank and make all, turn all our money into a letter of credit so we have plenty of inventory space. Okay, we got it marked on our map. Where is it? It's all the way up to the north. We can just throw a letter letter of credit in our wagon as well, and then we can go back into the dungeon and continue to explore and find that painting. Sorry again for that mix-up uh, about not putting on the armor that enhanced charisma ahead of time. I'm sure it was boring to have to watch me do that twice, but I'll try not to forget in the future. Basically, I think the idea is that it's good, it's good to have like a set of armor that you use for when you're walking around the town that increases personality... And then, you know, a set of armor that increases combat stats once you're actually inside a dungeon. That's a tip. I think I read it on the Daggerfall wiki. Anyways, here we are at the bank. So, um, I want to deposit all of my letters of credit. I also want to deposit all 47,303 uh, gold. And now I want to actually withdraw. Well, I want to withdraw as letter of credit. Hold on. Let's see. Withdraws a letter of credit, 164618. Oh, right. I can't withdraw exactly that amount because there's a, a fee for letter of credit. Wait, hold on. I did not do that right. Uh, I want to withdraw 160,000. Okay, there we go. Okay. So we should have a lot more inventory space cleared up. We do now. Let's just throw our letter of credit into our wagon. We don't need it in here. Um, and we had some, some enchanted tall boots, some books to sell, but we can just do all that later. We've, we've cleared up almost all the space that we needed to. And actually, we can just, I think, let's save the game here that we've done all that. But I believe we can just cast our recall spell to teleport back to the... or the castle. Yep, that worked. And before we go in here... 
we obviously want to throw off our this cur curse. We don't need this uh, this curse here. We're gonna put it in our wagon, uh, and we want to actually pull out our proper adamantium curse right here. Throw that on. We want to throw our boots back on, and we are pretty much ready to go back and continue to explore and find uh, this painting. So I'm going to save the game before I do that, and then we will head off. Okay, so uh, I think, I don't remember exactly which direction we went from last time. I think we went on the right-hand side, since that's uh, open. And this is closed, so we'll go through this way this time. And this that uh, enemy looks like... Let's see, I'm going to pull all this out. The enemy looks low res, though, to me. Which is strange, because I, I thought I had the correct version of Helmet Swap installed, but perhaps I do not. Or something else went wrong. I'm going to take you out. And since we're so close to the entrance, we can just... Oh, there's another person. We'll take them out as well. Let's just sprint to the entrance of the castle and deposit all of our stuff. I know you're going to attack me at some point, so I'll just take kill you right now. And it's very nice that we have persistent dungeons, or else when we came back in here, we'd have to fight everyone all over again. That would have been a massive pain. Look at that, we already have our inventory space almost filled up. So yeah, let's go into our wagon and put everything in. Okay, we can actually rest and save the game and let's go ahead and keep going. So, uh, I think we went through here last time, right? So I guess maybe we should go through the other door this time. Okay, I'm hearing the dungeon music again. And we have been over here before. Apparently we haven't been through this door, though. Let's go ahead and put a light spell on. And oh, we have definitely been through this door. I don't know why I thought we hadn't. Right, let's reorient ourselves with the dilemma we were in at the, at the current time. That we left. Let's see. I see, this is just only partially mapped out because it's not really a complete area. Oh wait, did we go through here? Oh, we haven't been through here yet. Okay, nice. So we haven't been to the side completely. So let's start heading down through this direction. Okay, we've got a coffin right here. And this whole side seems to be relatively unexplored. So let's start looking around here. This person's dead, though, so that makes me a little bit suspicious. But it seems like we haven't been here before, so they just died of unknown causes. This person's dead, too. Did our map reset or something? Surely it didn't. Surely it... it, it oh, it didn't reset. Oh, that's terrible. That's actually terrible. So that means that... Oh, I see what happened here. So basically, our, our map of the dungeon doesn't stay persistent. So all the areas we've already explored, like we've already been through all these places, but we don't even know where we've already been now. That's just, that's just awful. I mean, I don't even know what to do at this point. That, that just sucks. I don't want to reload the save. Um, I guess we just have to wander through a lot of places we've already been and try and find the correct spot. That is so unfortunate though. Though finding someone like that who is still alive is a pretty good sign. Um, but... Yeah, we're, we pretty much have to start from scratch, I suppose, to some degree or another. And now I'm starting to remember why Small Dungeons is so nice, even though I sort of missed dungeon crawling super extensively. Um, and we got a door here. Let's see. Got the open spell on it. That failed. Okay, let's see. Did we get a weapon we can use to bash it down? Yes, we did. And we got some money here, but nothing really of interest back here. The thing is, too, I recorded the last one quite a little bit ago, so I don't remember exactly where we've been already. I mean, I have a 
some dis some feeling or some idea, but not not as much as you'd hope to have when going through a dungeon this big. Okay, it looks like we've already been that direction since they're dead there. And while that would be, you know, that would be a great feature to add uh, to persistent dungeons, persistent dungeon maps too, <laughs> would be very nice. Let's see. So, oh man, I, I don't know. I really don't know what direction we should be going now. Actually, so tragic. Okay, this person's alive, so maybe they can lead us to the right area. Okay, what is this? This is a teleportation device or something? I guess it's not. Usually these you, you think you'd think that these devices are you know they're meant to teleport you places, stuff that looks like this, but I guess they, they don't always do so, so. Yep, doesn't look like it does anything. Ooh, a Daedric Saber, I'll take that. Well, at least we're getting rich from doing this. I mean, that is that is nice. Okay, now we're back to a place that we've already sort of been. And let's see. Let's head up here. And we'll go, uh, which direction should we go? Let's go back to where that coffin was. Where, where, where's the coffin? We gotta head back to the left here. Okay, so rather than going down this hallway, let's try going down this hallway this time. And now we've, of course, got multiple directions we could go from here. Uh, oh, hello. Some loot on the ground there. And just an empty room. Uh, it looks like there is a lot of potential roots around here, and I do not like it one bit. It's like a maze down here. Imagine in the days before there was a wiki completing this game, like, certain quests that are just massive, it'd be hard if you don't have some sort of guide or pointer sometimes. I mean, we, we've done pretty well for ourselves so far. I haven't had to consult uh, the wiki so far, I don't think. At least, uh, perhaps I did at some point, but I don't recall doing so. Um... Even in, like, the big main quest dungeons, like the uh, Gort Logs dungeon. But this could be the first one, potentially, because, you know, if we're stuck wandering around here for multiple episodes, probably, probably at that point, we should probably just look up some sort of hint about the right direction to go. Uh, let's see. How much is this worth? Uh, not worth it. Got some coffins here. Any sort of secret doors? Let's see. No, and it looks like this loops back around to somewhere we've already been. Let's take a closer look here. Yeah, it does loop back a little bit, but I think if we went back down, where was where was down? Wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we should loop back down around this way. And we'll save the game again. And let's start looking around. Oh, we've already we've already sort of looked there. Okay, this is all, you know, supposedly new, but not really because we killed everyone in here already, so we've already been here. Again, very annoying.
And yeah, we've definitely been there before. Maybe not down here, though. Let's see where this takes us. Terrible to find open doors, because you can tell we've already been here. Oh, gosh. We're never going to find somewhere new, are we? Perhaps we should just recall for the from the from the entrance. Recall to the entrance and start looking again. Or else we'll just be stuck. Definitely already been in this area before. And of course, this is the main area. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any like specific area we could check out from here. Let's, let's, I feel like if we go back to the start of the dungeon, let's see. This is the start of a dungeon over here. This is like where we're still in the castle. Let's see. Are there any other routes into the dungeon? Is it just from back here? Let's see. There's obviously this door that's opened before, so we've probably been through this way. This will take us into the dungeon, I imagine. Have we already been up in this direction yet? Not sure if we have. Seems kind of new. I don't recognize this. Ouch. And uh, it seems like there might be a secret door in here or something like that. Uh, no, I'm not seeing any sort of secret door here, as far as I can tell. This all looks pretty normal. Oh, where's the... That's a teleporter right there. Oh, and it did actually teleport us somewhere. So that's some progress, I suppose. Let's save the game here. And wait, this was this the teleporter that we just took? Or will this take us somewhere new? Oh, wait, this took us somewhere new. All right, we'll pull this lever, I guess. And then where does this teleporter take us now? Can we go somewhere... Takes us somewhere new again. Okay, well, I hope that was a good sequence uh, where that got us somewhere useful. At least we have the ability to reload the save if this is like a useless area. And we can try just leaving from the first teleporter and not going through the other ones. I just got a lock right here. Throw this on and try and bash it down. We should probably rest soon because we're running out of mana and we need to be able to use light spells. And this door just doesn't want to come down. Here we go. Alright, let's actually rest in here. Um, I'm going to remove the enchanted items real quick. Let's just rest in... Oh, there's enemies nearby apparently. What if I walk out here? There we go. And we've got you. I don't have my good weapon up, but maybe I can take you out with this really crappy one. Ah, actually, even though we don't have such a crappy weapon, it seems like we still have a, a strong ability to fight. All right, let's just put on our equipment here again. This is the right one, right? Wait, this is the Charisma uh, Curse. I thought we put that in our... I guess we didn't put it in our wagon. I meant to. That's fine. All right, we got everything back on. Put on the light the way spell, and let's start going. What is the condition of this? I feel like we've been using it quite a lot. Oh, it's still almost new. That's not bad. Doesn't like there's anything in here. Did we go through here yet? No, we did not. Okay. We did, actually. I lied. I'll take the Dwarven. That's quite valuable. Where is the area we have not yet been? Is this like a dead uh, a place that just leads to nowhere? Like, is there any way to get back from here? Oh, wait. We didn't go around this corner, did we? Okay. We still got areas to, to explore here. 
before we reload any sort of save. I guess we should have set a anchor spell or something because... Well, no, I guess we can... I was going to say we should have set an anchor spell at the first teleporter, but we can just teleport all the way back to the start and then get back to that teleporter. Let's just keep healing. And we've got a lot of branching paths up here. Oh, we got a we got a we got a fight going on. Always always fun to watch these. Let me participate. And once again, it just makes no sense why Castle Wayrest has ooh, an enchanted wand. Intriguing. I don't need a map to another dungeon at the moment. I've got my hands full with this one. Okay, this looks I mean different. Maybe it's nothing, but yeah. No, no painting back here? Alright, fine. Okay, let's see. Turn left here. Start looking around up in this direction. Wait. Is this the room with the coffins again? Oh, it's a different room, just with a bunch of coffins in it. Okay. Right, this isn't the room with the teleporter. This is just a, a new coffin room here. Holy crap, what in the world is going on back here? Wow. What a war. Uh, I don't even want any of this. It's all bad. Alright, let's see. We haven't gone straight down this hallway, so let's do that. And we found a ghoul's tongue. We found a potion of cure disease. You have a, uh, now that we can, you know, use spells to cure disease, the potions aren't that useful, I have to say. Um, I guess they're good if we run out of mana and we really need to cure a disease, right? I mean, that does happen occasionally, and it's quite annoying, so that's one use for it. All right, let's take a look at the map here and figure out where we have not yet been. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit. Oh, if we go straight down here and to the right, yep, haven't been down this hallway. And this was just nothing. And hold on, let me light the way here. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with the reduced. Uh, this is obviously. Uh, some sort of a problem with the textures of the NPCs. There should be a higher quality texture. So it seems that perhaps the dream uh, version of the dream version of what's it called? Helmet Swap may not be working entirely properly. And that lock will have to bash down. Ooh, a, a Daedric Curse. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about. Let's... Hmm, what can we do here? We'll, we'll throw away all of, our, all of our leather. We don't need leather. It's completely useless. I mean, it's not useless. It's worth money, but is it really worth that much money? No, it's worth almost nothing. So we'll get rid of all that. Now we can put that on, and that is looking good. We only need Daedric gauntlets now and will almost be a, a set of full daedric and that would be very very cool let's pull out our just anything this bash down this door with it okay let's see okay nothing of interest in there anyways Ooh, what is this? There's like a whole underground uh, sewer sewage system going on over here. Insane, man. This this place is absolutely massive. Pretty sick. Uh, I guess we should before we check out the sewage. Let's let's run down here. 
And the main quest dungeons, by the way, if I if I understand correctly, they are not randomly generated. So that means some sick person actually decided to put all this together uh, and hide the painting in some obscure location in this monstrosity of a dungeon. Because you can sort of forgive the randomly generated dungeons from getting crazy big, but can't forgive the developers for putting me through what they have put me through thus far. Uh, okay, we're back to where we've already pretty much been, so let's go ahead and head down here and look through this sewage system. Let's see. Okay, where was the sewage area? Am I missing something? Let me see here. Oh no, just gotta keep going uh, around this area. Through here? Okay, let's see. Let's save the game. I know there's NPCs down here, I can see them. Just people fighting it out. That's cool. I don't know if I'll need to go in there, but if I don't have to, I'm gonna try and avoid to do so. I can see like a million, uh, it's like a trap down there, man. There's so many, uh, so many things to fight. Oh god, I fell in by accident. Didn't mean to do that. And I'm carrying too much to stay afloat. That's not good. Can I just climb up? Get out of it, please. Thank you. Okay. We have water walking, so we can use that if we need to. What's this over here? Double doorway? Secret door or anything? No. Just looks like a nothing room. And then what about this side? This is where we came in. Okay, so if there is something to look for, it could be down in the sewage. So I guess we got to go back in here real quick and just make sure that there's nothing actually in the water. I think I see something around this corner. So let's go check over here. And what is in the water? An ice atronach. Okay, well, we can we can take him out. Yeah, it seems like there's maybe something in the water right down here. Uh, let's go ahead and throw on water breathing. Save the game before we do this. And here we go. Yeah, there's a corridor down here. Okay, is this a new area? Oh, this is just down here. Hello, Mr. Slaughterfish. You're no longer a problem for me to deal with. And we're in this, like, inner chasm now. And there seems to be a door on the other side. I swear, if I swear, if the painting's like here, that that's just man. This is a hard quest. Because the, from the teleporters to going through the sewage, I mean, I like it. I like the challenge. But can I just get water walking real quick? Thank you. Okay. Where are we looking here? Where is the door? We got to go straight on this side. Okay, it's right over here. Oh, it's locked. All right, that's fine. Give me this. Let me see some light. And let's bash this down. Slowly but surely it should come open. Here we go. And, uh, okay. Could we be getting close to the painting? I hope so. Hope this all is in a dead end. And here we are in a new section of the dungeon. I guess we can't get through here. Oh, almost got trapped in the wall there. I'll take the Mithril Greaves, thank you very much. There's another one of those low quality, out of place uh, NPCs that keeps pissing me off. Okay. Not much going on back here. Not much in not much interesting going on here, but we will take this opportunity to go ahead and uh, rest. Until fully healed. And we'll throw back on our equipment as we always do. 
Eh, let's start using our enchanted item for a little bit. Why not? Light the way. And now that we have this equipped, we'll go ahead and save the game. And let's continue. Right, so. Uh, where have we not been yet? We went through here. All right, so we, we, we can go down here. And there's more water to deal with. Okay, right. Should be fun. Let's do some water breathing. Here we go. Hmm, okay, we should probably use uh, water walking to get up here. What is up here? Can I get out? Uh, let me up. Let me up, please. This is a... Oh, we've already been there, though. Okay, that actually isn't that useful. Let's see. Where have we not yet been down here? Oh, God, get out of my way, please. Let's see. What a maze. Okay, hello. Hello, hello. Nothing much in here. Not sure what's what's expiring right now, but... I think it's probably our light spell, yep. I'll relight our way. And let's keep looking. I think we might have explored pretty much everything down here. Again, it's very hard to see, but I think we've we've looked through most stuff here. So let's head out of this water and go into this uh, pool right here. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, I see. So it's still the same area. Okay, so nothing useful down here as far as I can tell. Alright. I guess we could levitate our way up, up, up that corridor there. Um... Yeah, I guess we should do that. Or climb our way. I'd rather climb and levitate. But I'm not sure how feasible that is. Yeah, I guess we gotta levitate. Even though I hate how long this levitate spell lasts. Okay. What's up here? Doesn't seem to be anything up here. This is like... Oh, it's one of these damn uh, trap doors. It's like impossible to open. Okay, well, that doesn't do much for us. So I guess we're gonna head back down to this area. I've already checked this water. And if there was a way to get across here, we'd have a new area to check out. Not sure how we get across here, though. You know what I mean? Can I please uh, fit through here somehow? What if I jump up and crouch through? Does that, does that work? I'm levitating right now, so I don't think I can crouch. But we'll try that. For now, let's just look through here. Levitate should be expiring soon. We definitely have checked out everything up here, I think. Yep. Oh, that was just for light the way spell. Just pe please expire levitate. Why can't I get through here? Guess we'll just have to wait till levitate's gone. Okay, almost there. Come on, levitate. Let me free of your grasp. We need to buy a levitate spell, but it only lasts like 20 seconds. Okay, finally. And water breathing really lasts a while, though. It's still going. Okay, uh, let's see if I jump up and crouch. There's a way to... Oh, that, that worked. Okay. No more inventory space. That's fine. And this... I'm sure there's nothing back there, to be quite honest. So let's just continue. I mean, I kind of want the the good equipment, so I'm going to get rid of some of the shit equipment real quick. Pull out the die katana? No? Oh, oh I know why I can't, right? I, I didn't have this equipped for some reason. That's better. Now we can actually just take all this. Okay. Oh, alright, fine. Fine game. You forced me to do this. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I only want... Interactions in steel mode. I didn't mean to do that. Just bash this door down. Ha! 
How do I switch my hand? I don't even know what the control is set to to switch my hand. Let's see. Switch hand. Mouse one? What? I don't get it. It does not unlock. Right. What if I bash it down with this? Finally. And it was for... Oh, wait a minute. Secret door? Wait, no. Secret door. Okay. No, I was just back to where I was. Right. Completely useless. As per usual, dagger falls. So many locked doors lead to nothing. Thank you very much, game. What about through here? Now oh, we got some loot at least. That's something. Okay. Let's continue to explore. The lock clicks open. Oh, we just lock picked it. That rarely happens. A dwarven warhammer. Can't pick it up though. Okay, we're sort of going in a new direction here. Oh, what in the world? Oh, texture is having a little bit of a hard time there. We'll just fill up our inventory with gold at this point. And doesn't seem to be anything back here. Okay. I'm going to put light the way on again. We should probably rest soon. We're getting low on mana. Shouldn't even check load at this point, except for Daedric. And I feel like we're getting a little bit off track here. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, look at it. Look at that. Now that right there is a beauty. Thank goodness we actually managed to do this without getting outside assistance. Very happy. Oh, this is a trap though. This is definitely a trap that there is a lot of guards here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 579. No, we We're about to have to fight a whole lot of people. Yep, there's a lot of people guarding this. Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Low Resolution. Okay. I know there's more of you. Waiting to come out. I like how the main quests uh, seem to have a lot of... Uh, object... Or, or you, the objective, the item objective is, is surrounded by traps. Okay. I'm getting quite low on health here. I'm going to save the game. I think I already saved it once, but I'll save once more. We're just going to grab the painting... And we have to find a place to... Let's see. Give me that. Okay, nice. Have the painting here. There it is. Gotta find... Try and find a place to rest now. Uh, we'll take off our... Our items before we rest. Fully heal me up. And we can go back and just kill the rest of those guys for experience, I suppose. Oh, we leveled up. Hold on. Oh, we got six uh, points to level up with. That's a good amount. That's a good rule. I'm happy with that. Um, probably we want to go intelligence, willpower up a bit. We just max out intelligence and willpower to 70. I think that's that's fine. That's good. We'll do that. And let's put our enchanted items back on. And I'm missing, missing that. Okay. Light the way. Now we got some more people to cut through real quick. And let's just check and see if there's any rooms that didn't get activated. We didn't anyone we didn't kill yet. Okay. Looks like we got everyone. Perfect. So now we can finally recall. Back to the entrance. Oh. I guess the anchor expired. Which means we have to walk back. Is that really what happens? Because that's kind of sad. Oh, gosh. The anchor really expired. Look how far it is away from... You know what? We're going to pretend the anchor's still there. And uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and uh, do this. Don't tell anyone, but we're, we're just going to do this. <laughs> we're just going to pretend the uh, the anchor didn't expire. Because there's it's just going to be boring for me to walk back through there. There's no point in doing it. Um, and, you know, that's my reward for finding the uh, the painting without any help whatsoever, just by wandering through that massive dungeon and with the map resetting. Very impressed with that. Very happy with our accomplishment here. 
finally managed to do it. It took two episodes, both very long. I'm sure I don't know how long this one is, but I'm sure it's going to be a quite a long one. Um, I guess we'll wrap things up here, and not I'm not sure if we'll return the quest. Obviously, we want to go back to, um, got want to go back to Sentinel and actually return the painting now that we finished the quest. Um, but that will take you know that will take a while in itself, and we went, might want to go do this other quest, this one here that we got. If you'll remember in the inn from some random person, we might want to do that before we return to Sentinel. So I think I'll cut things off here for now. Next episode, we will uh, maybe do this quest and then go return the, the quest we've just completed um, to figure out what happens next in the main quest and what quest we've just unlocked, what the dialogue is, all that. Um, so thank you everyone so much for watching this time. Uh, quite a dungeon-filled episode or two, but uh, it was fun. Uh, and it is quite rewarding in those big dungeons to finally find what you're looking for. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.